Welcome back to The Garage. This is Tyler from Iron River Armory, and today we're going to be making Hunter's Arm Dagger from Star Wars The Bad Batch. Star Wars is probably one of my favorite sci-fi universes out there, and I've been loving watching the new series, The Bad Batch. And when I saw the dagger that Hunter keeps on his arm, I knew I had to make it. But here's the plan. The blade's gonna be made out of CR80 V2 carbon steel bar stock. The knife and sheath are gonna be 3D printed on my brand new 3D printer. And we're gonna use two small LEDs and watch batteries for that light. This is my first time using this 3D printer, so hopefully it all goes to plan. All right, let's get started. So a little tip I found out from one of my engineering classes, you don't want any harsh angles like these in your blade, especially at the tang where the most amount of force is gonna be when using the knife. These harsh angles cause stress concentrations that are high risk of failure. So we're gonna smooth those out and then heat treat it. And hopefully we don't have any catastrophic failures in our future. All right, now for the part I'm most excited about, the model for the 3D print. This is the model for the sheath and the knife handle. Up top, we have this top piece that's gonna house the LEDs that will stick out of these holes right here, and then the batteries that will go right here and all the wiring for the LEDs and the batteries. These two middle pieces are for the sheath. On the bottom part of the sheath, we have these holes. These are gonna be glued in some magnets to hold in the knife since we're gonna be on my arm and moving around to hold it in place really good. And on the two ends right here, you have the top piece and then the knife handle. All these pieces are gonna be epoxy together to ensure that it doesn't fall apart when I'm moving it around on my arm. All right, let's get this over to the printer and start printing.
Okay, so one of the problems you're gonna get when using 3D printed parts is the layering that the 3D printer does actually causes it to have a really rough surface finish. But I found a tip that I think will help. What you're gonna wanna do is start with 100 grit sandpaper and just sand all your parts so you get them nice and rough. Then you wanna use ordinary wood filler and completely cover it like I did this part here. Then once the wood filler dries, you wanna use 300 grit sandpaper and move you up to 600 after that to get a nice smooth finish. They're gonna use this filler primer to get any imperfections that you missed. All right, let's give it a shot, see how it turns out. 